So today we're going to investigate why the rover backfires whenever I switch it off. Hopefully we can solve this problem. Okay, so today I'm trying to hunt down why when I turn off the car it backfires. And I think I found what it is. In the carburetor there's this solenoid. And this one's a funky one. Usually there's a needle that, that actuates in and out of this. But this one actually has the needle actuated inside of here with the little fuel holes. And when you turn the key, this is meant to click back and forth. And mine isn't. So I, first I thought maybe it's broken, and I, so I cleaned it out. But once I cleaned it out, I was able to just disconnect it. So I was able to then take it and just get a 9 volt battery and with the 9 volt I can actually just actuate it which means it's working so it is working but for whatever reason this wire here when I turn the key isn't um, the wire isn't actuating it so I'm not quite sure what the deal is I had the voltmeter out and I was trying to see does the wire have a voltage across it when I turn the key and it wasn't really doing anything so that could be the issue I've got to figure out how and why this wire is not having any sort of voltage across it when the engine's on like it should. So I did manage to get a voltage out of the wire when I turn the key, so I think the connector might be dodgy. So I might clean that up and see if I can get the connection to work. And give it another go. So just cleaning up inside of this connection terminal with a bit of sandpaper. Just to make sure it's making good contact. I'll do the same for this end, just to make sure both ends are nice and fresh. For whatever reason it wasn't getting a good contact. And I will do the same around here where it makes contact. And in here it appears to be a bit of debris actually, but I'll just clean up the edge because I want that to pick up the earth and make contact. I need to get that debris out because that won't be good inside the carburetor either. I might have to get the, um, the air compressor for that one. So now I've got this working and when the key turns it does actually actuate now so I'm going to put it back in and hopefully what that will do is it will shut off the fuel from flowing through the carburetor when the key is off 
meaning that the um, excess fuel isn't still flowing into the engine and if it flows in unburnt like that it flows in and explodes on the heat of the exhaust manifold and that's what was calling, causing the issue. Just notice this o-ring's a bit dry since I've cleaned I've just got to put a bit of oil on the o-ring so the o went up and in. So it goes in easily without crushing or tearing the o-ring. actually put some oil on the shreds so the shreds don't lock up so I'm just going to take it back off quickly. I just put a tiny bit of oil on the shreds because they're very dry as well. And it will just make servicing in the future a bit easier. So I'm not putting oil in the um, injector bit, just on the shred itself. Just a bit of oil there. Just to make sure all of that goes in smoothly. Clean up the rest of it. Seating this all the way back in to where it should be. Making sure that there's a metal on metal contact because and um, that's why there's only one cable, so it's using the earth as in the metal, touching the outer metal casing of this solenoid. And then the positive or the um, live wire, which is actually a negative on this car, it's the opposite to your normal. So your positive and your negative are connected through the body of the car, through the engine, and then through this other wire and makes the circuit. So it feels I'm fairly tight. I might just give it a tiny, tiny little wrench. I'm just going to put a bit of foam around it so I don't crush the actual piece. Well, I give it some final tightening. Make sure it's all the way in. up and see how we go. Fingers crossed that actually solves it. So there is only one true test and that is when we turn it off will it backfire. So I'll let it just warm up a bit see when we hear a loud bang when it turns back on. Fingers crossed. No bang. So I think we've solved the problem of the backfire. Uh, I will make it go to full operating temperature and try again maybe it wasn't hot enough so let's just make sure put it back on just in case it was so cold it wasn't backfiring let's heat it up a bit No backfire. So problem solved. 
So it appears it was a fuel solenoid issue in the carburetor and essentially because it wasn't actuating the fuel was still flowing to the engine through the carburetor after we turned the key off meaning then the excess fuel gets pushed through to the um, exhaust manifold which is hot and then explodes and comes out your exhaust after you shut the engine off so yeah one more issue fixed on the rover